Ask yourself this, do you really know yourself? Are you being honest with yourself? It's time to come clean. Know yourself and this is going to be that understanding of yourself is going to help you more move towards your goals and get more motivated. There's no excuses. Be honest with yourself. Get get out of doing what is just comfortable and get into doing what you need to do in order to move forward. Set your standards. Determine what has to change so that you can be the better you that you deserve. What is your reason for doing what you're doing? Ask yourself. Be clear. Be true. How do you rate yourself on a scale? Do you take care of yourself? Why? And why not? Ask the tough questions. Be true to yourself. Your heart knows where you want to go. It comes from inside. You make your own restrictions. At some point in our lives, we made the decision to set up those boundaries. And we have to break those boundaries in order to achieve change that we deserve. Don't let those boundaries define you anymore. Break free of those boundaries that you've been setting on yourself. You can't lie to yourself. Did you do everything that you could do in order to improve? It's your choice. Define who you want to be, be true to yourself, and then work towards it. And this is where knowing yourself is important because in order to define what you want to be, you have to be true and you have to be able to define it. Don't. Are you holding back? Have you done everything that you can do in order to motivate yourself and improve? Be honest. What you want in your life, focus on the target and determine what result and how you want to do it and this is what you what result you want and how you're going to get there be clear and know what you want shout it out don't be general be specific on what you want to achieve clarity is going to provide you that guidance that you need in order to achieve your goals for things to change you have to change you have to want that change look within yourself for that change change yourself for the better you Getting new habits, trying them, changing your thoughts will change your life. Setting those habits is important because this is where change, when real change happens by updating and making new habits that are better than the ones before. Most people are, are, are on autopilot. They live their lives on autopilot. They get up in the morning, they go to work, they come home, they watch some TV, and then they start it all again. Are they really in control? Are you in control? They're not in control. Are you in control of your life? Start taking action now. What are your strengths? Give yourself credit for those strengths. Get out a piece of paper, write down those strengths. Be proud of what you're strongest with. What are your weaknesses? Write those down. Think about how you can improve those weaknesses and you're gonna be well on your way to becoming a better you. What are your fears? Why and how can you overcome those fears? How can you take a step forward instead of taking a step back? How can you break free of those fears that are binding you down and not letting you realize your true potential? What is most important to you? Write it down, shout it out. This is where you're gonna be going. This is where you need to be going. Take a look in the mirror understand that person who is looking back at you you owe it to that person to be true and to provide the better you allow yourself some alone time every day in order to help organize your thoughts and center your activities around things you enjoy you deserve it do at least one thing every day that makes you feel good and you're going to have positive results positive energy and more motivation be honest with yourself, be true to yourself, and determine what you need to change and then determine how you're gonna make those changes happen. You owe it to yourself to be good to yourself and true to yourself, and you deserve it. Sometimes you need to let go of past pains, past things that have occurred in the past, let them stay in the past because you need to move forward, you need to improve yourself and this will benefit everyone around you as well. We all carry anger. We all carry that with us, that weighs us down, but we have to be able to cut those cords in order to break free and then move forward. 
It's those negative thoughts that bring us down, that occupy our minds, that take up our time. Don't let it happen to you. Let go of the past. Let go of those insecurities because you can do it and you know you can do it. The time is now to move forward because there are many good things ahead. You just need to make yourself ready to achieve them.